When using the SureColor S50 and SureColor S70, there are two types of rollers. The green tinted rollers are high pressure rollers and are used when doing multiple layer printing. The white rollers are used for standard printing. When doing standard printing, which doesn't involve rolling the media back, make sure the rollers line up under the black areas above as that's where they will grip down on the media. In areas where there is no media off to the left, make sure the rollers are not underneath the black area so they do not clamp down on the roller. At the home position closest to the control panel, make sure the white roller is up on top of the media furthest towards the control panel as possible underneath one of the black lines. When doing multiple layer printing, it is important that only the green rollers are engaged as close to the edge of the media as possible. At the home position, move the white roller to the left till it is not under one of the black bars and move the green roller till it is right over the edge of the media. On the left edge of the media, move the green roller into position so it is under the black bar closest to the left edge of the media and make sure that all of the white rollers are not underneath the black bars so they do not engage on the media. In this configuration with only the green rollers touching the media, when a print is rolled back, the white rollers, since they are not engaged, will not mar the prints and cause marks. Because you are trying to optimize the media and the green rollers must be closest to the edge of the media, there are three home positions the green roller can be located on on the right hand side of the printer. It can be in position 1, position 2, or position 3, and you can move the entire roll of media left or right so it lines up where you optimize the use of the media. This position will depend on the width of your media. To view similar videos or learn more about our S-Series printers, visit proimaging.epson.com.